Mother's Day should be a relaxing day for moms. However, one Rapid City mom is grateful her family is safe after an electrical fire the night before Mother's Day. Our Juliana Alford has more. It started out as a normal Saturday night. Eunice Trueblood's sister was visiting and the sisters planned on celebrating Mother's Day together. Everyone went to bed about 10 p.m. Later, her sister was woken up to a loud sound coming from the kitchen. She woken up around 12.40 to a crack and a pop. And so soon after that, she saw fire and flames coming from behind the microwave. Eunice's sister acted quickly, waking everyone up. Luckily, they were all able to get out safely. Eunice, her sister, Eunice's three children, and her sister's five-month-old child. But Eunice lost important documents and her home is unhabitable. And what shocked me out of all of this is we never heard a single smoke alarm go off. The fire department was able to put out the fire quickly and determined it was an electrical fire started by her microwave. What's sad about all of this is um, I'm being held accountable for damages when I, I was not aware that I'm supposed to leave my microwave unplugged at night. Eunice is now facing $10,000 worth of damages. I feel like there's no remorse from the landlords. They're not offering resources. They actually gave me 10 days to leave. Eunice moved to Lakota Homes in November of 2022 and said the Red Cross is helping her with a hotel for now. But she's worried about the future for herself and her kids. My advice to anyone is make sure you have smoke detectors in your home. Always check your smoke detectors because I could swear I never heard a smoke detector in the year and a half I've lived here. Um, also get renter's insurance. It is recommended to check your smoke alarms once a month and to change those batteries once a year if it is older. However, for newer smoke alarms, the batteries can be changed five to ten years. To check your smoke alarm, there is a button you can hold down, which should make a noise come out of the alarm. A smoke alarm detects that smoke in that first 30 seconds, makes a loud noise to alert us to the smoke and to wake us up, hopefully, to warn us that we need to get out immediately. Before a house fire occurs, families should have a plan for everyone to be able to safely get out of the house within one to two minutes. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Juliana Al